Now, we're going to bring some uh, images straight up for you uh, now on the programme as a group of private astronauts is set to carry out the first private spacewalk in orbit later. These images coming uh, straight out of NASA, in fact, uh, bringing to you as they happen, as it were. It's going to happen outside a SpaceX capsule, testing well, a new line of spacesuits in what is the company's riskiest mission yet. Well, with me here on set is uh, our senior reporter, James Andro. He's also a little bit of a, a space buff, I think we can uh, say, uh, James. Just explain to us then exactly what this uh, crew is going to do in the next uh, hour or so. Now, as you're saying, it's going to be the very first commercial spacewalk. Of course, this is a technical demonstration for SpaceX. The idea is that uh, they are going to depressurize uh, the capsule, which is uh, the uh, Crew Dragon. So they're going to take all the air out of that. Everybody's going to be in suit simply because the Crew Dragon does not have uh, a, uh, a depressurized uh, door system so that astronauts can come out and then well they're going to go outside so it will be mr isaac man who is you know billionaire who is the 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 chief of this uh, this mission, the, the, the commander. And so he's going to be going out first for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then it is Mrs. Gillis. Now, she is an engineer with uh, SpaceX. She's also, uh, uh, you know, an astronaut. She's going to come out as well, also for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. They're going to be operating around a structure which has been built uh, on uh, the capsule, which is called Skywalker, difficult to forget and then they will come back inside the capsule and the capsule will be repressurized there are two other members to this mission they will be inside they will not be coming out they'll be managing the umbilical cords that will ensure security for the astronauts yeah it's interesting to, to hear mm -hmm. what you're saying there because presumably that means then that even the two inside have got to have spacesuits because it's going to be depressurized as well yeah absolutely now they're going to conduct about 40 scientific uh, experiments while this mission, but to be perfectly honest with you, these experiments aren't that really interesting. What's really interesting here is that this is a technical demonstration. This is saying, right, this is the highest altitude there's been a spacewalk for, well, basically since the Apollo missions, because, you know, the previous highest level was when the Hubble telescope was fixed, and that was a long time ago. It was NASA. They're going to be around 700 kilometers from Earth. During this mission, they flew at 1,400 kilometers from Earth, and that is in itself is a technical feat. When you look at it economically and politically, the message is we have the technology, we can do it, we are better than NASA, who has been pouring nearly a billion dollars in a new suit and from now hasn't managed to crack that equation. We are better than the Chinese, we are better than the Indians, we are better than anybody else, and of course we're better than Jeff Bezos. In a sense, this is very much, you know, the message here. And it's also obviously a message to Boeing, because if they manage to do this spacewalk and to bring everybody back, given what's happening right now uh, with the Boeing capsule, as we know with these astronauts who are stuck on the ISS, that of course as well sends a powerful message of, you know, who right now has the best technical uh, master ring of going to space at the moment.